Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rebecca, aka Vegan Bodega Cat. Today we're here with another What I Eat in a Week. I know, it's been a minute. I told you guys I was gonna take a short hiatus from the series, but now it is back and I hope you guys enjoy. This video is sponsored by Well Well. Well Well makes like superfood drinks, rehydrating drinks, uh, protein shakes, things like that. They're all plant-based and non-GMO and kosher. The two that I mentioned the most in this video, actually the two that I mentioned in this video, are the um, beetroot and ginger hydrate and the pear and ginger wake. You can tell I like ginger. And the reason why we're partnering with Well Well today is to let you know about their new subscription service. So their subscription service allows you to take 20% off of the price for like a six pack. And you could also use my discount code BODEGACAT10. I'll put it right here and I'll put it in the description box down below. That gives you an additional 10% off your first case just in case you want to try it out. Just in case you want to try it out. But um, it's a zero commitment delivery service so you can cancel it anytime. And you can get your boxes shipped at a different like time span so you can get like once a month or once every like two weeks or once every like two months however often you want to get your case and i'm a fan of well well because of the convenience slash like clean ingredients it was founded by a doctor and my personal favorite right now is the pear and ginger wake it has green tea in it so it gives me kind of like a pick me up throughout the day especially before a workout without kind of giving me the jitters i used to take pre-workout and that is just too much for my body right now. I just, I, I don't know how I used to ingest that much caffeine. And then coffee for me kind of upsets my stomach before a workout. So this has been awesome. And then the hydrate, I've been using it after a workout or just on a hot day or a day where I've not been that great with drinking water. I've been trying to drink more water, but some days I just get way too busy and I come home and drinking one of these is just like amazing. So yeah, thank you to Well Well for sponsoring this video. And without further ado, this is what I ate this week. For breakfast, I ate such random things because I had to review this air fryer. So I ate chicken nuggets, some jackfruit crab cakes, and this alpha breakfast burrito. Kind of random, all air fried, all delicious. I also had a coffee this morning, um, which I do every morning, and I usually forget to show in these videos, but I do drink a coffee almost every single morning. I'm doing a lot of house stuff, uh, making beans for the week, brewing kombucha, and I'm just snacking on this very ripe, very delicious melon. I've been on a salad kick lately, and what I want to eat for lunch is a big old salad, but what I am eating is um, a slice of avocado toast, just to kind of help my hunger until I have time to go to the supermarket and buy greens, because I have everything else I need for salad, I just don't have like the salad base, which is pretty important. So I'm gonna eat this avocado toast with a little bit of nutritional yeast on top, and then after I do a little bit more work, I'm gonna go buy some salad greens so I can make myself a proper lunch. Guys, I am so excited to be eating this. So excited. You saw all the stuff I put in here. Uh, on the top is a Chipotle ranch. It's my first time trying it. It tastes nothing like ranch. I don't know why they called it that. But um, it's basically a salad. And I'm so hungry, so I'm going to scarf this whole thing down. I have had such a productive day. I'm pretty tired, but I'm heading to the gym soon. Um, so I'm having a little quick pre-workout snack. I call these health muffs, but I'm currently playing with like the idea of a muffin that is like pretty similar to oatmeal on like the health scale. So I can have them like for a breakfast or a snack instead of oatmeal when I want something, you know, more like decadent feeling, but still around the same like, you know, health spectrum. Does that make sense? Anyway, uh, when I'm finally happy with the recipe, then I'll upload it. But it's basically like um, applesauce, oats, a little bit of flour, some coconut sugar, and stuff like that in there. I'm gonna experiment next time I make them with putting a little bit of either white beans or chickpeas in that and see if it like ups the protein without ruining the taste too much. We'll see. Once I'm happy with the um, health muff recipe though, I'll definitely be uploading it either on my YouTube channel or my Instagram. But yeah, pre-workout. And pretty yum. All right, about to head out and go to the gym. <laughs> I haven't been laying in bed this whole time, I swear. I've just like, it's been a super busy day. You know when you have like one day off of 
like work and it's just full of everything you've been putting off for like weeks well that's what today was for me i shot three videos um i meal prepped i went grocery shopping i cleaned i made kombucha and beans from scratch i'm such a wifey but i'm still going to the gym today because i miss the gym and i'm bringing this well well um wake because your girl gotta wake up it's also like full of electrolytes and stuff this is the pear ginger it says adaptogen blend for your brain and mind for once your inbox will be catching up to you <laughs> i didn't read that before that's really cool well it's kind of late at night so hopefully this doesn't <laughs> have too much caffeine in it but at the same time i want caffeine because gym time and I don't really take pre-workouts because that's too much caffeine for my body to handle so hopefully this is the appropriate amount since it's just like green tea so yeah this is gonna be my pre-workout slash uh, during workout drink and I will see you after my workout for my post workout all right this is my post workout underneath the ketchup and mustard I swear there's food um, there's some potatoes with sausage peppers and onions and then I just covered it with ketchup and mustard because I like saucy food and then this is my boyfriend eating the same exact thing except for I put his in a burrito with some cheese because he needs the extra calories <laughs> for dessert I'm eating this Bobo's stuffed oat bite peanut butter and jelly and it looks like this on the inside it's my first time having it it's okay Hey guys, I'm at work. Um, so I'm just gonna shoot breakfast really quick. I brought two of my like healthy muffins from work, from home. Um, so I have those two that I'm gonna eat for breakfast. These are the same ones I had yesterday, you know, with the like applesauce and oats and stuff like that. And I'm having a coffee to sit beside them because what better breakfast than muffins and coffee? So yeah, that's what I'm having for breakfast. I brought a salad for lunch, and I'll show you what I put inside it later. Please ignore my printer um, having a meltdown in the corner. Uh, I'm just gonna record this really quick because I have to eat. This is a salad that I'm eating for lunch. I have some zucchini, carrot, some string beans. These are some alpha chicken nuggets, mushrooms, and on the bottom is a bunch of um, spring greens. And on top, I'm putting some Dressing from Chosen Fruits. It's like an avocado oil dressing that's like Asian inspired. I forgot the name of it exactly. And I'm putting a protein topper on there from this brand called Vegetarian Traveler, I think. And it's basically like dehydrated like little pea protein and soy crisps with like nuts and dehydrated beans and stuff. And it's like a yummy, delicious protein crouton. And this is what I'm eating for my lunch. And I'm probably gonna eat it in my car on my way to where I need to go next. It is evening time. I'm on my way to Copper Branch. Copper Branch is a Canadian vegan restaurant chain and they just opened their first US location. It's in the Lower East Side and they're having like a grand opening tonight and we got an invitation so we're going. That's basically gonna be dinner. I have no idea what they're gonna be serving but I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna have a good time. We had a bunch of samples and now this is a burger that I ordered. I already sampled it and it's really good. Roberto is like the breakfast sweets king. So of course we got these blueberry waffles. They're gluten free. And we got these wings because Matt of NYC Vegan said that they were good. So we have to try them. So here, I love these a lot. That's really good. Especially for like a veggie burger. For dessert, we are having the chocolate zucchini brownie. We actually had a sample of this already and it was so good. We asked for it for dessert. Um, and it looks like that. It looks like a health brownie, but it tastes like a decadent brownie. I just made breakfast. This one is for my boyfriend and this one is for me. I didn't want to eat that much right now because I'm actually going to go out and film in a little bit and I wanted some stomach room for that. This is just um, peanut butter and jelly oats. It's oats cooked in almond milk uh, topped with peanut butter and jelly. It's pretty basic. The recipe is in the name. Then I went to LPQ to review their new vegan frittata they are doing with just egg. It has some squash in it and broccoli and caramelized onions. Super yummy. It also came with a salad that had some vinaigrette on top and I ate that too. 
The past three days have been absolutely exhausting. Um, two days ago, I just didn't sit still. Like I had too many things to edit slash film slash upload and working out and all of that stuff. Yup, I just almost chipped my tooth. And today I went out and I filmed and I bought jeans. Oh my goodness. Jeans shopping though. Uh, you, you ladies with the big old booties, you understand me. It's not a pleasant experience most of the time. I was actually really surprised that I found some jeans. Um, and then I also filmed a video and did a bunch of other stuff. And now I'm back home. I'm gonna head to the gym in like an hour maybe. And I wanted some, you know, delightful things to eat while I'm editing. Uh, it's a two coffee kind of day, which is rare for me, but it does happen, so. This is my second coffee of the day. I'm usually a one coffee kind of person. And I'm eating, surprise, surprise, because I've eaten them a couple times in this video already. Um, my health muffs. <laughs> uh, I'm having two of them. Oh, they're so good, they taste like peanut butter, oat, and apple. I'm going to eat these while I'm editing a video. And I will see you next time I eat. I just wanted to say that a frozen burrito is not an ideal dinner. I just don't have a lot of groceries right now. And it's 10 p.m. and I didn't feel like walking to the grocery store. I'm gonna do grocery shopping tomorrow, I promise. Roberto and I are watching this like silly YouTube channel called Gas Station Encounters. It's basically like this guy just uploads video footage of people trying to steal stuff from his gas station and he like voices over them. Anyway, they're good for a laugh. And I have snacks. I have this Well Well Hydrate, which is awesome after the gym. This is beetroot and ginger. And I have this Annie's Sour Bunnies. I don't usually buy snacks like this, but I got this at the expo, so I'm gonna be enjoying it for a treat. Hello, hi. So I've been editing the video that I shot yesterday and I also bought some groceries, so I'm gonna have a salad later on, but I didn't have time to like cook stuff, chop stuff, season stuff, you know, for the salad. So as you guys know, I just came back from Expo East and I have a lot of like food samples. So I'm eating one of the food samples, um, a little bit of cereal. It's this Ezekiel 49 uh, flake cereal. It's the original flavor. It's just flourless flake cereal uh, made out of barley and millet and lentils and stuff like that. It's literally like the definition of like healthy looking brown cereal. So, you know. Honestly, not bad. Yep, I just wanted something to snack on really quick while I was editing and this is it. All right, so I am meal prepping and I'm having a salad. I'm so happy to be eating this. Um, we have grated carrots, string beans, peppers, mushrooms. This is some um, tofu with salt, pepper, garlic, and some paprika. I have some little soy crisps and uh, pepitas and dehydrated beans. And underneath is a whole ton of romaine. On top is like an Asian-y dressing from Chosen Foods. Um, it's made with like avocado oil. And I'm going to dig in because my stomach is growling. After I worked out that day, I had a whole bunch of pineapple. And then for dinner, I had a rice bowl with some roasted veggies that I forgot to show. My bad. Hey, hey, good morning. <sighs> I have something exciting to do to this morning to kind of like shake up my routine. My mom booked us a pottery class. So I'm heading to go do that in a bit. But first I'm having breakfast, lunch, it's like noon. I'm gonna have a salad. It has uh, cucumbers and beans and carrots and tofu and mushrooms and uh, peppers and romaine. And I'm gonna mix it all up and chow down because if you can't tell, I've been on a salad kick lately and it's not even like just me being healthy. It's just that I didn't have a, like a decent amount of salads in like a while and then I had one and I was like, damn, salads can be really good if you put yummy, delicious things in them. And so I've been having almost like a salad a day for the past few weeks at least and I've been loving it so I will continue to do it. It doesn't hurt that my local... Um, bodega slash grocery store often has like random things on discount like vegetables so i don't really plan out what goes in my salads just every three or four days i just go there and then buy all the discount vegetables and then the discount vegetables is what goes in my salads and this way 
things stay really cheap. Like they do like four peppers for a dollar, or a big box of mushrooms for a dollar, or two eggplants for a dollar, or two giant zucchinis, like this big, for a dollar. I got a box of romaine, baby romaine, for a dollar yesterday, so I bought two of them. So I've been eating baby romaine in my um, salads. It's been great. And I'm gonna be drinking this pear and ginger wake by Well Well, and I'm gonna be trying my latest iteration of my health muffs because I put beans in it this time and I wonder if it'll taste good with beans in it. I like cut the peanut butter in half and then I did half peanut butter, half beans to see what happened. They're like white beans, so I don't think they'll be that flavorful, but we'll see. Actually, you know what? I'll take a bite right now. <sighs> Ooh, I love this flavor. It's kind of like pear tea. Yeah, that's a good description. It's like a sweet pear tea. I don't taste the ginger too much. It's like very mild. It's good. I guess let's just do a taste test of the muffin first, even though I'm gonna have it for dessert. It smells not like beans. It doesn't taste like beans. It's a little bit dry because it has like less fat because it has like less peanut butter. It's pretty good. This might be like the final iteration of my recipe. Like this is might be how I make it from now on. I will catch you after pottery for my pre-workout. Guys, that class was so much fun, the pottery class. I'm so glad I went. I'm gonna tell you right now what the Instagram name is. Okay, so the pottery class's Instagram name is Baro BK, so B-A-R-R-O. BK and my mom paid like $90 for two people to take a two-hour class So it was like 22 50 an hour, which is not bad and you get to like take home the pottery and it was really awesome And it was so much fun and the instructor's name is Ernesto and he was great and so patient with me Even though I like completely destroyed my first piece of piece of clay so much fun. Anyway, so that being said I'm home and I'm hungry. It's been a couple of hours. So I'm going to be eating this bowl of pineapple. I'd love to say that this is the bowl that we made, but no, I'm gonna go pick up the bowls that we made in a week. So we'll see how they look like when that happens. But I'm eating this pineapple. My supermarket was having a sale. Pineapples for a dollar. So I bought like three pineapples. So sweet. My pre-workout today was a banana with a glob of peanut butter on top. Super aesthetic. Hey, I just got back from the gym and I'm gonna show you my food before I heat it up because after I heat it up It's just gonna be like a big blob of a mess because I don't have a microwave So I heat everything up like on the stove top. So you have to mix it all together. It just goes anyway <coughs> This is my dinner kind of my post workout. We have some rice. We have some chopped up chicken nuggets Don't judge me. We have some roasted butternut squash some boiled beets and some roasted Broccoli and then I'm gonna heat this all up on a pan and then make a dressing and pour it on top and eat that I'll show you the dressing after I heat this up. All right. Here's the finished product. The dressing is tahini mixed with uh, Some of this chosen foods lemon garlic like I don't know like sample packet I mixed some of it with tahini and some water and I drizzled it on top and this is gonna be my post-workout Here is my second dinner. It is just a sandwich with whole wheat bread, some tofurkey slices, some mustard, and a little bit of chips for crunch. For breakfast, I had two of those health muffs that I brought into work, and I also had a coffee that I kept in my thermos. All right, so lunch is this super lame salad. I threw it together this morning because I woke up late and I didn't make any food yesterday to bring to work. So here's my food. It's just beans, some dried beans, tomatoes, peppers, um, that is zucchini and then there's some like romaine underneath there and I'm gonna top it with this little packet of Chipotle ranch um, Dressing from chosen foods now the dressing is decent, but it tastes nothing like ranch like not even a little bit Like I don't know where they got the name. Maybe it was made on a ranch. All right. Hello. Hello. Okay. Hi It's been a minute since 
at 8. I'm actually really hungry. I came home, well, I went to my parents' house, and then I went to the gym. And I also drank a coffee from Starbucks, a latte, soy, double shot. And now I'm back at my parents' house, and I am so hungry. And there wasn't any food here, so I decided I was gonna like scrounge around and see what I can make that is vegan. Uh, I found everything I needed to make like a Mexican baked potato, which is something I used to eat a lot, except for one. So I went to the supermarket and I grabbed a vegetarian refried beans from Old El Paso. The fat-free and the vegetarian refried beans are both vegan. And they used to be, or it used to be, a very large part of my diet. I microwaved the potato, because I don't have time to be waiting around. And I'm gonna make myself a potato. And there you go, it's an OG vegan bodega cat classic. You got some potato, some refried beans, salsa, avocado, I usually smother this in a nutritional yeast, and I could have sworn there was nutritional yeast around here somewhere, but I can't find it, so we'll just have it sans nutritional yeast. I'm gonna probably put a little bit of salt and pepper on top and dig in. For dessert, I had this silk dairy-free blueberry yogurt, and I put some nuts and raisins in it. Hey guys, good morning. I'm at my tutoring job, and I have done no meal prepping for today. So I woke up in the morning, and I was like, I don't have any food to take to work, like nothing, like not even a salad to throw together. Like I have nothing in my fridge that's like, you know, a real meal. So I threw some random things in a cooler bag. There's like a frozen breakfast burrito in there. There's like a yogurt, whatever. So today's eating is going to be weird. I already know it's going to be weird, but... I would rather, I don't know, bring something from home than just like snack on random shit around the office, you know? So, I'm at my tutoring job, I just said that, and I have my coffee with me and I also have a protein bar. This is the peanut butter bar from Simply Protein. So, I might get very hungry and eat it at, in tutoring um, along with my coffee. And then I'm heading to my like office job and I'm probably gonna eat more stuff there. Hello guys, I'm at my desk job. And I'm hungry. I have a rumbly in my tumbly. Um, and so I'm gonna make a frozen burrito in the microwave because I'm the epitome of health. Ooh, and I'm gonna drink this. Okay, so this is gonna be my lunch right now. I'm gonna make this alpha breakfast burrito in the microwave. And I'm gonna drink this well, well, pear and ginger majiggy. So yeah, this is my lunch. I know, like, not the epitome of health, but you have some days where you didn't plan right and you just kind of have to do what you gotta do. <sighs> hey, at least this has calcium and potassium in it. And if I'm still hungry afterwards, I have an oat milk yogurt, but I don't know, we'll see. If I'm hungry, I'll eat it. If not, I won't and I'll keep you updated either way. Hello, I'm back. I've microwaved my burrito on a paper towel because I could not find a plate. It looks very nice and very hot. I'm also gonna add some mustard on it. Um, I found this mustard in the company fridge. Not quite sure how long it's been there, but mustard lasts forever, right? Oh yeah, it says best by May 23rd, 2020. We good. It's just some tofu scramble and cheese and peppers and stuff in there. So that's my lunch. And then if I'm still hungry, I'll eat the yogurt and I'll let you know. Surprise, surprise, I'm still hungry. So we're doing a little taste test. Mm, pretty good. It skates that thin line of being tart and still a little bit sweet. It has a nice thick consistency. And this whole thing is 100 calories. Hey, so my coworker just handed me these kelp jerky snack things and I figured why not throw a little taste test in here and try a piece? This is what it looks like. Very dark. It smells like teriyaki. Texture was not what I imagined. It's very fishy, very fishy. Not bad, but a little weird. I think it's growing on me. Hey, hey. Berto and I are going out to dinner. Yes. Uh, there's like an influencer event. I think it's an influencer event. It's like a dinner right rice. You know the like the better rice company like comes in the black bag. Anyway, they're, so they're throwing an event with our friend Remy 
it's like a dinner at the butcher's daughter in Williamsburg and we're going so that's gonna be my dinner this place is so adorable Roberta and I walk past it occasionally and we've been wanting to come inside but it's even cuter once we go inside this dinner was honestly such a treat. I think every single thing we had there was delicious. We first had some falafel and then some arancini. Up next was an heirloom tomato and red gem salad with a black garlic vinaigrette. Then these grilled artichokes with crispy shallots kind of just blew my mind. And to top it all off, we had a lobster mushroom risotto with these really funky looking mushrooms that smelt like seaweed. If you're curious about that risotto, the butcher's daughter is gonna be putting it on their menu soon. And the dessert was a rice pudding with almond milk, agave, rose water, almonds, and pistachios. And it was the perfect end to such a delightful night. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you got some cool recipe ideas or were just entertained by me stuffing my face. Thank you again to Well Well for sponsoring the video. All the information I mentioned below is gonna be down in the description. Like if you like, subscribe if you wanna subscribe. If you want to follow me on Instagram, where I post every single day, of my Instagram right here. And that's all I have for today. I will talk to you next time. Goodbye! As always, I have to shout out my bodega babes. Jessica, Christina, Marlene, Lucia, Alex Creates, Laura, Ellen, Michelle, Kaylin, Marielle, Alex of Planet Earth, Emily, Juanita, Charlotte, Emily B, Jenny, Marcia, Gemini, and Curtis. You guys are the absolute best and these videos are made possible with your support.